hi everyone welcome back on my channel today in today's video i'm going to be having a recap with you guys which basically just summarizing the month of may answering you guys questions as well i love this part of this channel where i get to answer you guys question and just talk and just get up close as well all of the things i'll be answering in this video are questions from you guys these are things that i got from my comment section and i'll just talk a little extensively on them and just let you guys know my view and tips as well that i believe can help you so i have about i think eight or ten here so i'm just going to dive straight into it so that i do not waste much of our time here today the first one i have is i am using half cast vitamin c pro lightning body lotion it is very nice but it gives me knuckles i have said this countless time whenever you're using a lightning cream or whatever cream you're using even if you're not using a lightning cream even if it's a moisturizer please always make a fist and always rub that area because the skin around that area is wrinkled like it's kind of a bit squeezed if you don't pay attention to that area it's going to be dark and imagine yourself applying lightning um lotion all over your body and then you're neglecting that area so i believe you're not making a fist even when you're rubbing your lotion or even when you're scrubbing when you are exfoliating your skin a lot of time we don't pay attention to our hands some people don't even wash their knuckle with sponge as well i don't know why but it's always okay especially when you know you're using lightning stuff so you just kind of pay attention attention to your knuckle area and when you're creaming when you're applying your cream kindly make a fist just to help you um get rid of knuckles same thing goes to your feet to your knee and as well to your ankle so just make sure that you pay attention to those areas that have skin that are a bit tougher and they have skin that is a bit squeezed as well so i hope this really helps you. can i mix nivea rose and argan with tiato oil about tiato oil before i love tiato oil in wash off i don't like them on stay on because i've seen it give a lot of people white parties and i hate white parties i always advise that even if you're going to use because it has lemon and you guys know that lemon is good for brightening the skin they always say apply it or use it with your wash off but staying on your skin for long might not be might not be really good and i always tell you guys that there are other safe serum options to have with your lotion like one thing i noticed about the nivea argan and rose oil is that the consistency of that lotion is a bit thick and a bit slimy just a little slimy it's not like others that is a little watery or you know that if you add some serum to it it's going to turn watery so it's like a little slimy so even if you add serum to it it might still loosen up but it will not turn to water it might just loosen up in consistency but it's not going to turn to water i have the um vanilla the nivea vanilla almond oil with me here yeah? and this lotion is the same thing with the argan or in terms of the consistency so there are so many serums that i cannot see that won't lose the consistency like the um, saturn i talk about like the argan i talk about like even the pure egyptian serum i talk about your um for two hours will not make it lose its consistency your star clear will not make it lose its consistency um if you have good acid to eat it will loosen up a bit but not too buttery because the base of this lotion is more like an oil in cream form it is even written on the body like it's more like more oil on your skin and it's been nice it's so moisturizing another question that i have here is can you mix vitamin c with clear nature body mix of course it's all your choice if you have a vitamin c serum definitely go with it i see a lot of you guys complain about the smell of clear nature body mix have you ever tried clear nature body mix before do you like the smell let me know in the comment section it's one lotion that i know that is very effective and it works very fine especially when you're in a place that you don't get to expose yourself to too much sun you see great results and when you mix it with good acid serum it's going to give you that very good yellow tone and your skin is going to glow so if you're using it or if you've ever actually used it before do you like the smell of clear nature body mix please let me know in the comment section i'm really curious to know people who like it and who would not like it how can i use to remove stubborn friction rash on my body there's a particular wash that i've reviewed on this channel i think it's from sarah is it i would i would put it on the screen i don't know if it's the benzoyl peroxide one with urea that can really help you if you have a friction rash on your butt it's more like the same thing like pimples on your butt as well like it's going to be so rough and really help you if you don't you have stuff like that on your butt after this just apply it to that area and leave it for some time before you wash it off and it's really going to help you and moisturize the place as well so along the line you always make sure that you moisturize that area just so the same thing does not repeat itself if you have a chemical exfoliant face wash that you use on your face you can always extend it down to that area as well and if you have glycolic acid as well you can use it on that area so all of these things can help you if you have all of those rash on your butt i use goji berry face cream with vitamin c and it makes me purge 
Goji berry face cream, I've reviewed it before sometime, a few years ago. But one thing about goji berry face cream is that it contains vitamin A, which is same as retinoid. And using vitamin C with it is going to purge your skin. So sometimes when you are buying a product in the market, don't just pick it up and go home and go and use it. Have a little understanding of what the ingredient is like. I've been seeing a lot of people slandering some um, skincare brand on Instagram for, for the past few days now because of the fact that when they sell products to you, they do not include the ingredient that they use on their container it's very common here in nigeria even when i was selling soap i don't include the ingredient on the container just because you know the more you know or the more you the more you go out there to see or ask what people want the more you know i don't know i, I just kind of write my name how it's being used and just take it around the soap now i see a lot of people just slandering a, a skincare brand because of the fact that they do not include their ingredients on the container of um, their skincare products and they will always tell you that as a consumer if you're getting a skincare product you're entitled to know what the skincare product is made of for context so if you're buying any products please check the ingredient just to make sure that it's like kind of it can work with the other ingredient that you have at home Berry has vitamin a in it which is as well retinoid and you need to stop using vitamin c with it because it will purge your skin plus jra cures knuckles if you want to use jra to cure your knuckle you need to get a good scrub with it as well so in that scrub the mixture of scrub that i posted on my channel that i've talked about several times um the salicylic acid malic acid that mixture can actually help you with your knuckle and then you can add your jra to it but all the same you still need to constantly moisturize your hand if you cannot get a moisturizer vaseline petroleum jelly is going to do the job for you because when you're applying all of these things when you're using that scrub it might actually dry up your knuckle which will cause it to even go darker if you're not moisturizing it and that's why you need to moisturize it so i always tell people if you are working with your knuckle please always just drop a little petroleum jelly inside your bag and always moisturize easy to moisturize your hand by that is not going to make your hand so dry and to not increase the darkness on your knuckle another question that i have here is i use yc sunscreen but after using it i notice a flakes is showing like maybe a build up it might be so thick for your skin and i would say maybe you should just change it to a more lightweight sunscreen there's really nothing that hard in that just change it to a lightweight sunscreen if you know that's what you get because if you are if it's too um thick on your skin and it's clogging your pores you might really not like it it might actually cause you to break out so you might just settle down for the one that is so lightweight and it's going to be really fine and settle into your skin very very well so just switch it up can pixie glow tonic be used every day pixie glow tonic is mild it's not really that uh, harsh on skin so i'm not going to really say use every day but it depends on the strength of your skin so if you know the strength of your skin that's going to determine the number of times that you're going to use it so i make sure that i limit it so if i'm using it today i might just kind of like forgo it tomorrow and not use it and just use it the next day as well but actually on this one i know i'm not breaking out so it's just my normal routine i might just wash my face use my moisturizer use my sunscreen and i use my serum so this makes my skin stays the same i want to use nature white body lotion and i don't know how good it is i'm not going to talk on the full review on this lotion because it's been long this was even when i was trying to learn how to mix so this lotion uh i will give it a 4 over 10 so you might still find a better option lotion in the market so you can settle for other ones aside from this nature white body lotion because i noticed that it causes stretch mark so i'm not going to i don't want you to have that so you can settle for other things i'll give it a 4 over 10 and if you guys want a full review on nature white body lotion i'm just going to make it but i noticed a lot of people are not using it and that was the reason why i did not talk about it and i think this is going to be my first question that i'm getting on this particular lotion so please if you want me to make a full review on that lotion let me know it's been long i think since 2019 but i can still talk about the few things i know about it for you guys as well thank you guys so much for joining me before you go please do me a favor smash the subscribe button and turn your bell notification on so that you always get notified anytime there is an upload from me and i will definitely talk to you guys in my next video